again, when you're the quarterback, you get uh, all, all the credit when things go well. And, and my name and my family's name are on this trophy. But if you, uh, if you look at the back, um, some of these are at some of the tables, I think. There's a lot of people that work really hard for all this stuff to happen and also for the Werfel Trophy. And there's the name of the Board of Directors and the National Selection Committee. And so on their behalf, also on behalf of the former uh, winners, uh, several that are here tonight that I'm so proud to be getting to know them and to be friends with them. And also on behalf of my family, my mom and dad, and my beautiful wife Jessica is here, we are very, very thankful and proud to give this year's award to Matt Barkley. Thank you, Danny, and, and everyone involved with, with this process and, and the All Sports uh, Association. It, it means a lot to, to be here to represent Danny's name in this, in this award and all the past winners uh, who, who I look up to after only knowing some of them for a short time now after getting in here uh, the other day. They already seem uh, like they could be mentors of mine or, or our family. Uh, it's been a really uh, neat, special couple days down here. And, it's been my first time down in this part of the country, and I love it. Uh, there's, you know, there's a bunch of fighting gators and, and Seminoles and a rolling tide. How's that <laughs> fear said? Oh, I don't know. They, they seem to get it done. They seem to get it done. I was a little jab at Barrett Jones. Uh, we've been training for the combine together, and he was last year's winner. Um, so keep on rolling, I guess, what you do. <laughs> I do want to clarify one thing, too. Uh, this is not garnet and gold. This is cardinal and gold, okay? For <laughs> where we come from is cardinal and gold. Just wanted to get that out there. But this has been a, a wonderful opportunity uh, for me. I, I remember when I got the call that uh, from Danny and a couple of the members of, uh, of this award uh, that I had won, uh, it, it, it felt a, a warming to my heart because I knew where, where this award was coming from. And I grew up, uh, once I started playing football and learning about the game, learning about Danny as a quarterback, I only recently kind of really realized what he's done in the community and what he's done uh, in New Orleans, Atlanta, um, with those, those neighborhoods uh, that are pretty similar to, to where I go to school in USC and Watts in South Central LA, um, you know, not great areas, but he's been a presence uh, in those areas. And it was encouraging to, to hear that um, I was honored with this because uh, you know, this, this season, you know, as a lot of people have been saying, hasn't gone the way that I expected it to. It wasn't the best season, all that stuff. But I realized uh, that I was, you know, being rewarded for something that's, that's bigger than football. And as, as much as I love this game, as much passion that I have towards this game, I, I realized that, you know, it'll one day come to an end. And, and there is something so much more everlasting and, and, and eternal than football. And so to be recognized... Um, you know, for the work that, that we've done uh, across the world with missions trips and, and in my backyard at, at USC, um, it, it really meant a lot to me. And, and like Danny said, the, the quarterback usually gets all the praise and usually takes all the blame. Uh, and it's, it, it's similar to, to this award. You know, my name will be uh, part of this, this trophy, uh, but my family ha has done <coughs> so much behind the scenes uh, that they don't ever get credit for. They help uh, pretty much manage and organize and plan the logistics for trips to South Africa, to Nigeria, and, and recently uh, my two parents pretty much by themselves organized uh, a trip to Haiti, bringing 16 of my teammates down uh, to a country that is still in shambles. And uh, it, it really was a, a unique experience to be able to share that with my teammates. And, and you go through college and, and you, you create friends and you really spend the most time with, with the guys that you're playing football with. And I, I probably saw them more than I did my, my own family. And uh, to be able to go down and to serve in Haiti, to build houses, we were able to bring down a ton of school supplies, uh, soccer equipment, and we built four houses for families whose homes were destroyed by the earthquake. And to be able to do that with my teammates, the guys that you grind with, that you're out there on the, the battlefield with, uh, to be able to, to drop everything, to leave L.A., the, 
the hustle and, and bustle of Los Angeles and to escape into this, uh, this mode of service was, was something that I'll, that I'll never forget. You know, God, God tells us, commands us to serve, and, and, and it's for a reason. It's not for own, our own health, although I do believe uh, it, it is proper for, for your soul. It, serving, I, I've learned over, over the years, has really allowed you to step out of your, out of your comfort zone to gain perspective. It, it instills uh, humility and, and an attitude of the giving that, that as a quarterback and as, as someone you know, in, in the public eye, it, it, you lose track of that sometimes. When all eyes are on you and the pressure's on you, 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 you don't get that sense of, uh, of service. So I, I'm thankful for my parents for instilling that in me and, and really allowing me to go on those trips and, and to serve like that, to, to not have to talk about football, but you get to talk about football, as, as they call it, where they get to kick a ball around. And uh, just to, to gain that perspective, we, when we went to Nigeria, uh, Brittany was actually on that trip. She's a soccer player, and, and her whole soccer team donated a ton of soccer balls uh, for, for the kids. And we brought over about 20 balls, and we were giving them to kind of each village that we went to. And it astonished me how overjoyed these kids were uh, to get one soccer ball. And it was during a time at USC when, I, when we were going through the sanctions and the whole NC2A scandal and no bowl games. And it, it seemed like a pretty depressing time at USC. But during that moment, God really showed me to be, to be thankful for every single time you get to step on that field, for every time you get to hold a ball, like, like these kids where you gave, we gave them a soccer ball or to the chief of that little village, and it was like you were giving them a pot of gold. And God really just kind of opened my eyes to, to realize how, how special each moment is in football. And so I've really taken that um, to heart. But uh, it, it just reminded me of Danny's story, uh, you know, a verse from, from Matthew 25, 40. Uh, Whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters, you did it for me. And, and Jesus talking about, you know, service in, in, the, in the ultimate way of, of forgetting about yourself. And, and taking a kid up off the street or someone who looks up to you and um, really encouraging them, taking time to, uh, to share the gospel if that's it or just to, to be, build a relationship and be there for them. So uh, I, I want to thank Danny for, for setting that example and, and the past uh, winners of this award who have carried that tradition. Uh, they haven't stopped with football and, and, and some of their football days are over, but uh, what's been more encouraging to me is see how they've been able to carry out their lives, living Christ-filled lives, uh, still going strong in their communities with, with FCA and, uh, and other events that they've been doing. Uh, it's a real encouragement to me. Uh, so it's, it's an honor to be a part of this and, and to be down here in Florida. It means a lot. Thank you all for coming tonight. I appreciate it. God bless.